another beautiful day down here on the wet coast. Sun shining and it's a good day to be on the boat. Today I'm working on a project that I've already completed because it needs to be redone. And that would be the wiring for the lights on the bow pulpit. The reason why it needs to be done is because when I did the wiring, I made a mistake. I routed the wiring cable outside the bowsprit platform support, and it should have gone inside. And then I thought, well, I've got new wire. Maybe I'll just run a, a length of new wire, which would have been fine, except for I've been stymied once again by the foam up inside the bulwark ploy. That uh, foam has caused me more headache than probably any other part of this boat, but that's just the way it is. Got to deal with it. So I've already taken the old pulpit lights off, and I'm really glad I did, because what I discovered was that the, the wires underneath the lights had over time uh, rubbed up against the metal and the insulation had worn right through. Let me show you. So the lights used to sit on a block of wood that was screwed to the metal plate here. And when I took them off, this is what I discovered. You see that is bare wire. And that is soon to become bare wire. And this, I didn't do that when I was taking it apart. That's just what happened when it was uh, all put away. This side isn't much better. So my task today, I've decided that I'm going to cut that cable. I'm going to dig the foam out from underneath the bulwark, and I'm going to put new cable in there. There's a splice in the cable under the bowsprit platform, which I'm not really happy with. I put it together very solidly and then covered it in heat shrink, but it's kind of ugly. And because of the situation with the wires going through the tubing, I want to replace that wire, and the only way I can do it is to pull the old wire out. So if I'm going to pull the old wire out, I might as well put new wire back in. Let's go down below and have a look. Here you can see inside the closet where the cable begins, the cable run begins. It then goes, it then goes up over the bulkhead, so it goes up into the bulwarks through foam. Now the foam was put in after the cable was run, so it's pretty much embedded in there. Then it runs forward through the V-berth area, which I think is ugly. Why would anybody run a cable through a V-berth? I don't know. They could have easily run it underneath the V-berth where it's tucked away out of sight. But the same thing happens in the anchor locker bulkhead. It runs up over the bulkhead through the uh, bulwark and then it's covered in foam. And then it comes or exits out the bulwark up on the deck. So I am going to attempt to salvage this, I'm going to cut the foam out, I'm going to cut the wire, and then I'm going to try to pull new wire through. And that, my friends, is today's project. that part done wasn't as bad as I expected a little awkward and cramped and uncomfortable but it only took maybe 15 minutes or so but you can see what I'm up against right it's all that foam up there in the bulwark now I'm left with a cable just hanging there just like that because as you can see it runs 
up over this bulkhead here and then down into the rebirth area right here. And if I can get it out, I will, but if not, I'm just going to cut it here, cut it there, and have done with it. I'm going to take this run completely out and route it underneath the V-berth and then back up. Which makes much as far sense. as removing the wire goes, that was a successful venture. And I've got the old cable ripped out. I got it uh, removed from over the top of the bulkhead. I still have to feed it back through into the closet, but I don't think that's going to be a huge issue. So I am now going to get up front there and undo the pulpit hardware. Now this is one of those jobs where you don't want to drop anything because it's over water. And that would be a bummer to drop a tool or bolts and nuts and things. But it's got to be done. So let's get to it. As I mentioned before, the next part of this project is to lift the bowsprit pulpit and this plate here. So I've got four bolts that go right through to remove and then these two lag screws that I have to remove. Um, this one looks like I dribbled some epoxy or something in the hole, so that one might be a tough one to get out. And uh, these ones, well, the nuts are underneath. So I'm just going to have to be uber careful not to drop anything. Wish me luck. Well, as you can see, I have successfully removed the plate and the teak piece of wood that was underneath the pulpit. So the next job I'm going to have to do is to run wire, namely this wire here. I'll have to uh, pull that out and route the new wire in. And in the meantime, I will have to have the cutouts for the anchors done on the bowsprit platform as well as the steel plate that goes over top here. So I've got a few things to do before I can put it back together, but it is going to go back together. And no major mishaps. I didn't lose any tools or screws or nuts or bolts or anything like that. So we're all good. I have the bowsprit prepped for the reinstallation of the steel plate that supports the pulp it. Concurrently with the reinstallation of the pulpit, I need to rewire it. So while the um, epoxy that I just put on the pulpit kicks off, I'm going to crawl around in the um, guts of the boat here and pull some wire. I'm using this stuff. It's uh, Ancor marine grade wire. Apparently the, the sheathing is UV resistant and it's got one pair inside, which is basically all I need. So I'm going to run this from inside the closet right there, forward, not over the bulkheads like the old ones did, but under the V-berth. And then I'll push it up through the gunnel, and hopefully I'll be able to get it semi in place today. So let's make it happen, or try to. I managed to get the 
new cable threaded through the bulkhead and up out of the bulwark right here. But as you can see, there's a big hole here. Now, this end of the boat in a seaway will get really quite wet. And having a hole here is just not a good idea. So the solution to having a hole anywhere on uh, a machine that's going to get exposed to moisture is a device called a wire gland. This is a wire gland. It will sit over the hole and the wire will come out of it and as this nut here tightens down it grabs the wire and creates a seal. It's kind of clever. So I'm going to put that on there loosely right now so that I can thread the wire up through the bowsprit pulpit in preparation for bolting it back down. So I want to make sure I've got enough cable here and thread it through the gland like so. like that. Now this doesn't have any screws in it. It's designed to be glued down on that surface right there. So when the time comes I will apply some 4200 and make it tight. Okay. I need to thread this back to where it needs to go.